It's a we we uh. But it's not an MCU Marvel movie. But they helped Sony, so. Who helped Sony? Sony the has. MCU. No, they didn't. How? They did they lend them Tom Holland? No. Okay. But just, they don't. They don't have to. Like it. What do you mean they don't have to? Yeah, they don't have to. Yeah, because they, yeah, Sony didn't have, and that's why, the, but you didn't care about, uh, but when I put, uh, when I put this on, uh, um, in, when we reacted to the trailer of, uh, the Doug Phoenix, even though, yes, I did, I said something about it in the video, I was like, why'd you even do that, it's not part of the MCU, you didn't say that, yes, I did, you said we'll it, watch, this, you said we'll it, we'll watch it on video. my phone, you said it, I this. said it, anytime you put, you push that, when I mean, it has nothing to do with the MCU, anyway, Welcome Let's to our movie. Let's welcome. Movie. So it's in association with Marvel. What does that mean? You didn't you didn't realize when the credits rolled in the beginning it said that? Instead of just saying Marvel, it said in association with Marvel. It's because Sony is the movie studio and it's not Marvel Studios. Uh, uh, yeah. So welcome to our Venom movie review. As you know, with all of our stop, <laughs> it's still a Marvel movie. Okay, but I'm talking. As you know, with our movie reviews, we give a rating. Talk a little bit about it. Whatever you see in the trailers, I'm not gonna spoil it. He's not gonna spoil it. I'll let you know when we talk spoilers. You can cut it off if you didn't see it, or you can go ahead and watch it and see. Yeah, what why we you use your hands like this? I always talk with my hands. But they can't. See, but they can't see it. So why? I don't want it so to what's be on the camera. So why are you doing it? Doesn't, even though you doesn't matter. Because that's how I talk. Mm -hmm. So, what was I saying before you interviewed me? <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll let you know whenever we talk spoilers. So you can cut it off or just keep watching. If you don't care about spoilers, then you're going to go see it anyway. So, <sighs> a lot of things I liked about this movie. You and and a lot of things. And a lot of things. Wait, see, you messed up my train of thought. There's a lot of things I liked about it, and a lot of things I didn't like about it. A lot of things they didn't That's why you give it a 7 out of 10. Why are you spoiling what I'm gonna give my rating? <laughs> I sh that's why I should never tell you what my rating is in the car when we're driving home from the theater. Because you just said it out loud. <laughs> now, it's, now it makes it pointless to give my point. So anyway, reason why I gave it a 7. What, well, okay, well, what did you give it? And give your reasons. 8. 8. Okay. Why? Hey, what did I give on Homecoming 8? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't think we did a movie review to Homecoming. Or did we? Yeah, I know we probably did. I think I you did remember. it, but I didn't. I cannot remember. Uh, so, he gave it an 8, I gave it a 7. Reason being, it's probably at the top of everybody's list. How can you make a Venom origin story that has nothing to do with Spider-Man? None whatsoever. So they do make a couple of mentions here and there about Eddie Brock being in New York, or used to be in New York when he used to work, but he lost his job in New York and says he still has connections over there. But we do get quite a few nods to other Spider-Man characters in the movie. We'll talk about that in the spoilers. So, but, you know, if you, you probably went into this movie thinking you were gonna see Tom Holland, even though Sony, they definitely said it's a Venom standalone, has, Spider-Man has nothing to do with it, but somehow, some way, rumors started swirling around, supposedly, that Tom Holland was on set or filming, but there was never any photographic evidence. Maybe, you, maybe there was a deleted scene. I don't know, no, no, no. I don't think so. So, um, yeah. So, if you're going and expecting to see a cameo from Spider-Man, you'll be disappointed. So, I, I wasn't really... Um, it would be nice if they did. But I wasn't disappointed that they didn't, you know. Um, but the movie itself, pretty entertaining. Tom Hardy, 
if they would have casted anyone else, probably the movie would have sucked. He gave a lot to the character. He brought Eddie Brock to life, uh, made it his own, and you know the way a Tom Hardy character would. It remind he reminded me a lot of how he was in Mad Max, uh, Fury Road, and it was really good. I mean, he did really good as Eddie Brock, and when he's Venom, you know it's it's pretty entertaining for the little bit of time that we do get him as Venom. Uh, the movie takes a while to build steam, but it was very good <coughs> to get that, you know, the little, whole origin about the villain in this movie that really didn't, wasn't really a threat, you know, like just another Marvel villain that uh, didn't, <coughs> didn't really cause a threat to uh, Venom. They made it seem like you know, he was a threat, but didn't really do too much for me as a villain. So, you know, it was just because of, this, you know, but the, the people. scientist. Did he? Yeah. You don't remember? Well, he? yeah, when he was experimenting on them. Yeah, but he killed, I mean, killed more people. Like that, he, like that scientist. That oh, yeah, he, he, he killed her by, you know, releasing one of the symbiotes on her and the symbiotes were failing at, um, you know, attracting hosts that were less, that were a perfect uh, fit for the symbiote. So, um, yeah, like you know, I'm so used to what I came up on. Um, you know, they. Should we talk spoilers now? Yeah. Let's talk spoilers. We did. Let's get oh, yeah, we did. yeah, we did get a rating. So if you haven't seen the movie, go ahead and click this. Change the video. Come and watch our video after you've seen the movie. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so movie starts off. Automatically gives a nod to... Uh, uh, one thing they did stick with is that the symbiotes did come from outer space. That's a thumbs up, you know. Uh, I thought when I was watching the trailer, it just seemed like, oh, they're creating these symbiotes in the symbiotes in the lab, in a lab, lab experiments. But no, they did actually come from outer space, and they start to experiment them, you know, bonding them with hosts and humans. First, first they did rabbits, and then they quickly jumped to humans. <laughs> so. Um, but when they come from space, th there's one astronaut that stays alive through the crash, and they happen to say it's Jameson. So just is like it, is it J J Jameson? His son. Oh. In the so. comics and the cartoon, as you remember, J, 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 J Jonah Jameson's son is an astronaut, and he's the one that actually brings the symbiote back when you know the um, the NASA, you know, the spaceship, the shuttle. Uh, crashes on the uh, Brooklyn Bridge and you know the symbiote you know but it's only the Venom symbiote in the movie it's basically four of them or three I forgot. three and then the fourth one escaped Which and is Venom, the I, think. I was getting confused at that like oh, which, wait, it's which right. Riot was the one that was missing right that was getting carried by the little girl yeah yeah, that's what it was. Okay, yeah, and I was in my, in the back of my head. I was thinking, okay, because you could tell by the color of them. Okay, this one's Venom, the black one. There's a yellow one. Then that one was Scream, the female one, right? Mm -hmm. And then what was the third one? Why? No, there was three that were locked up, and then one was missing. Right. Yeah. So the, if the one that's missing was Riot. The other one must be Carnage, because the whole time when they were saying, you know, there was one missing, and it kept jumping from person to person in, uh, in Malaysia, I was thinking, oh, that's probably Carnage, and it's going to make its way to SF towards the end of the movie, but no, it was the other way around. That symbiote was actually Riot, which is, you know, it makes its way to San Francisco, the, the, the little girl from the airport in Malaysia to, to SFO, and ends up taking over the scientist. Uh, also, uh, also on the riot. Uh, who is the villain? 
Yeah, um, he, um, he, um, first he, um, remember that girl that was in, that was taking J, uh, JJ to... Oh, yeah, the to, paramedic. Yeah, his yeah. son, remember, uh, First it took over the, yeah, first it took over, uh... J. Jonah Jameson, and then the paramedic, and then from the paramedic to an old lady, old lady to a little girl, and then a little girl to the, the scientist. Yeah, um, I, I forgot his name too. That's how forgettable the villain was. He, um, you know, but when he was Riot, it was pretty badass to see uh, <coughs> Riot. He was actually kicking Venom's ass for quite a bit. It was, he was definitely stronger, and was for some reason was the only symbiote that was able to, you know, use its limbs as weapons and create weapons here and there more than Venom. <coughs> Venom was just able to use the symbiote to, you know, block his attacks. And, and he could, like, uh, stretch his arms. Yeah, stretch the symbiote, and that's <coughs> one disappointment right there where... But then again, it makes sense. Like, people are griping about, oh, the Venom symbiote doesn't have the white spider. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, if you're from outer space, why would you even, you know, give yourself a white spider on the chest anyway? Like, how would you know? If it has nothing to do with Spider-Man, how would you, why would you, you know, relate yourself to a, a spider? It does, it's pretty messed up. No? No, that's not about it. Oh, you mean how it's all missing. So, anyway, like, yeah, so it made sense that why would this alien being, uh, you know, connect itself to a spider somehow. If it didn't, I mean, you be making an argument that in the comics and the, the cartoon it gave itself a white spider because it was fighting against Spider-Man and, and it mimicked him or something like that because it did attach to Spider-Man first. Yeah. But since that, you know, was thrown out the window, there was no Peter Parker, no Spider-Man, there was no reason for the symbiote to have a white spider on his chest and that made sense. So, you know, so good for them for you know sticking to their you know uh, guns of not putting the white spider on Venom yet. So um, yeah, I mean you know the the symbiote itself had the personality of you know wanting to kill, but then you know Eddie Eddie, Eddie pretty much. Change, like changes the symbiote and I don't ever remember that happening I just always remember it's the symbiote controlling Eddie and making Eddie its prisoner and Eddie has no say in what the, the symbiote does and that was one thing that was different in the movie was where Eddie Brock was actually able to convince the symbiote not to kill I was like, oh, you know, I remember, you know, Eddie didn't ever want to kill people, Only the but the symbiote people. did, and that was one thing that they also, that they always uh, had a conflict with, uh, killing people. So, but at times in the comics and and uh, the cartoon, Eddie Eddie Brock didn't mind killing people, but. It's an anti-hero film where, like, he's not really a superhero, but he still, they still want to show that he has a heart, Eddie Brock. So, and that's not the Eddie Brock I grew up with. Eddie Brock I knew was a complete a-hole. So, you know, and that's where we, we What's come up. What's an a-hole? Uh, moving on. Um, that's one thing that Eddie, um. Uh, so what I was gonna say. Yeah, that's one thing characteristic about Eddie that um, I remember from the comics. He definitely didn't care uh, whether people died or not. And in this but, movie, it <coughs> but once Carnage comes around um, in the cartoons, he he starts to you know help Spider-Man stop Carnage because Carnage was even crazier than he was. But, so. but in this movie, um, um, Eddie wasn't really that, like, um, he wasn't like a, a psychopath. No, he wasn't, yeah. It was more, he should, you know, He should be a little bit. Like, yeah, and he kind of, you know, in the beginning of the movie, you know, he has a girlfriend. He has a 
he's successful at his job, and then all of a sudden, because he called out the scientist who was, you know, later on gonna be the villain, he loses his job. He makes his girlfriend lose his job, so she breaks up with him. Six months later, they fast forward, and his life is spinning out of control, and that's when the symbiote comes into his life, and you know. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean six months later? It was six. It was a six-month span in between the time where he got fired and when the the symbiote. Uh, no, I Yes, Tina. I remember it said six months later. I don't remember. When did they see that? When it was showing the the Golden Gate Bridge, and it said six months later, and it showed. And it happened that after when he got fired, and then when his girlfriend broke up with him, then something flashed on the screen and said six months later. You don't remember that? No. What was you looking at? You were looking at the screen the whole time. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so good, good battle at the end where Riot, his goal is to go back into space and bring back millions more of the symbiotes. Um, of more of their species to Earth and uh, pretty much take over the planet and kill humans here and there. And basically, Venom, and Eddie. the symbiote, no, I would say how, it was weird how the, the Venom symbiote was showing heart and not wanting that to happen. Oh, oh, well, it was, he was giving Eddie the explanation of why. I was like, oh, I'm starting to like it here. And, uh,. On his planet, he was a loser, just like Eddie Brock is on his planet. <laughs> so he, he, you know, he started to like Eddie Brock, and didn't want to leave Earth, or didn't want to see anything bad happen to Earth. So that's why he decided to stop right. So uh, you know, it was pretty good. Um, the battle. Now let's talk about the end credit scene. The first one. <laughs> There's two end credit scenes. Well, the, the second one was actually just like a. Um, they showed one of the scenes from the upcoming animated movie, the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So they, it was like a good five minutes, huh? Yeah. A five minute clip from the movie. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, <laughs> I had a, I knew once I saw Woody Harrelson in red hair, I knew exactly who that was. And the, you know, as soon as they showed San Quentin too, they showed the state penitentiary, penitentiary. Um, and then they end up showing some, I saw, like, I didn't even, I didn't even know that Woody Harrelson got casted to play Cletus Cassidy, otherwise known as Carnage. Um, but yeah, they kept that under wraps really good. I did not know about it. People, uh, I didn't see any So probably there's going to be another one that they did Maybe. And that's another thing. If you're going to do a movie like Venom it should have been rated R because there's a lot of head bite he bites a lot of heads off but, but the, they, the camera yeah they show it off screen there's no blood there's no blood at all of course not it's yeah. PG-13 yeah exactly but, but sometimes like, in a PG movie like this should have been sometimes in PG-13 movies there's blood yeah like in Civil War like, like, um, when, when Captain America gets beaten up it's well as long as it's not gushing blood like when you get a head bitten off there should be blood squirting everywhere but uh if it's like blood coming from and it's dry they don't they don't count that so it's uh. able to be pg-13 um. but um yeah and also the, on the the point post. the fact that this is not rated r it could have been a whole lot. I mean, why didn't Sony make it rated R? I mean, also, you, you see all the success also, that if Logan was, has as being rated R. Deadpool was rated R. Because why not do the same thing? People were going to see it anyway. That, that if if the villain movie was rated R, we 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 were solid still cause since you, you me and you saw a Predator. Yeah, yeah. So and you know. Um, but yeah, the action was great in this movie. Um, yeah. Anytime Venom was on screen, also fighting the soldiers that were chasing after also, him um, and the, it, the scientists, the uh, henchmen, you know, whatever. And also, uh, um, right arm uh, was only shown in the ending. Yeah, yeah. That was alright. Um, 
and the way he died made sense. Uh, there's no coming back. Well, Venom did burn up in the explosion too, because that's their weakness. The loud screeching noises and fire. So... Wait, the... Uh, the, the weakness is, um, um, I know it's a lot of noises, but it's fire. fire? Also. Yeah, fire also. Remember Venom says it himself. He tells when when they were going to give him an MRI and Venom was like, no, no MRI, you know, because the noise, the noise that it makes or whatever. And then, um, and then he said, and also, oh, also fire. Also, um, Eddie Brock, um, got stabbed and then, um, when, um, uh, Venom took over. Yeah. Brought him back to life. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. So, uh, but yeah, the the explosion on, on the spaceship, there was no way that Riot could have survived it. Even though, like, like Venom was falling from the explosion, and but he was still getting burned up. And then, you know, you think that, you know, and then like, it was weird to look. Venom, he actually said to Eddie, goodbye, Eddie. As he was falling to the ocean, and then, but then, um, but then, you know, but then they do. Um, later, uh, we notice that he's still alive because yeah, he's, he's still, still with Eddie when he was, he was talking to his to, to his ex girlfriend. Yeah. So, um, then a quick little. And also, um, the Stan Lee cameo. Also, and cool. and also Eddie, um, Eddie, um, um, didn't want to tell. Um, his ex girlfriend mm. that um Eddie that um that Ben uh, was still with him. Yeah. And she was like, Are you, are you sure you want to tell me something? I don't know. And he was acting as if you know he's got, he's got it under the control under control now where he's able to uh, not be bothered by Venom's voice in his head. You know. So. Uh, and also the um when um when um when what's his name. When Stan Lee showed up, um, yeah. what did he say? He said something about him and his... no Venom. I think Venom said that he looks good or something. No, he looks familiar, or you know, he he asked Eddie, "Do you know that guy?" Yeah, I think that what he, he, said? he said. He said something like that. Yeah. So and then I forgot what he said. I think he said he looks tasty or something. I forgot. <laughs> and you just wanted to eat him. Um, but then uh, Eddie says no. Yeah, it's good to see Stan still doing his cameos in these movies because I know he's been very ill lately. So it's kind of I wasn't expecting him to, you know, show up in this because well, he's, I thought health. he's only in the MCU movies. No, he's been he's in all, all of them. If it's Marvel, he's in all of them. All of them. Even the Spider-Man movies, like the first ones. Yeah. I didn't see him. You don't remember? No. When he was, he's in all three of the Tobey Maguire movies. And Amazing Spider-Man. You don't remember? I anything. remember the Amazing Spider-Man when he showed up. When um, Spider-Man and the Lizard were fighting. Okay. You don't I remember don't. in Spider-Man 2? Where Peter Parker's looking at the, uh, oh, the big I screen? Oh, I remember Yeah, that. okay. I can't remember what his cameo was in the first Spider-Man. In the third one. I can't remember at all. He's mm -hmm. got so many cameos in every movie. But yeah, but um, yeah. Hopefully, uh, I don't know. It's Cash Twenty Two. I wanted this movie to be bad so that Sony can give up the rights <laughs> back to Marvel and Marvel can do everything the right way. But in a way, I kind of want this to have a sequel because just because Woody Harrelson uh, cast it as Cletus Cassidy. <laughs> for that end credit scene. That was pretty cool. So, I think that's it. Yep. I think. If you saw the movie, let us know down in the comment section what you think. Uh, we enjoyed it. It was a good movie. Fun movie. If you enjoyed our movie review, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. If you did not. You'll be. Yeah. I got this. Oh my God.